Monsieur. Uh huh. Ace the young heavy. heavy. Y'all know the time. Man. The sickness. My nigga Bodil. Some niggas want the money, the power, the respect. Fuck this shit. I want all three of them bitches. Heavy shit. That's the definition of heavy. heavy. Bitch, I'm heavy. Hey. Bitch, I'm heavy. Hey. Louis we head and toe and something full and fuck a Chevy. Sneaker news. Salute you two. Salute you two. Peace to the earths and gods and go mob to the fret. Thanks for joining us again for another exciting episode of Ace Heavy Kicks. Where we look at cool kicks for the comic collector. And there's people like yourself and people like me, the host, Ace the Young Heavy. Let's get it started this week with sneaker news. Excellent stuff. Air Jordan 4, Lost and Found. So they're talking about releasing one next year in March of 2024 in the same vein as the Air Jordan 1 Reimagined or Lost and Found, whatever you want to call it, and also the Air Jordan 3. Is that something that you're looking out for to uh, leave a comment down below and let us know? I'm probably going to grab that. I mean, it's in the same original bread colorway as the Air Jordan 4s. In my personal and humble opinion, that's one of the best Jordans, if not the best Jordan that ever, the silhouette that has ever been released by Jordan Brand. Um, and it's an original OG silhouette. Next, Kyrie has been wearing different shoes because he doesn't have a Nike contract right now. And recently we saw him wearing the Ethics. Now the Ethics are an independent shoe company and it is uh, owned by Langston Galloway. So that gentleman has been making shoes. He made a special silhouette just for Kyrie. Kyrie rocked them. I don't know if he's going to stay with this particular brand. I mean, we also were looking at him doing uh, stuff with Sia as well. And we haven't seen him actually wear a shoe by them yet. So that relationship hasn't manifest. But obviously there's been a lot of conversations. I just wanted to see the man ball. He's been killing for Dallas. And hopefully they pay him his money at the end of the year. You feel me? So peace to that guy. Next up, let's talk about, you know what? I use a lot of different terminology on the show and I feel like I need to explain, not myself, but the terminology itself because, you know, a lot of people may not be familiar. So let's start with GR. So when I say GR, I'm talking about a general release shoe. So when you hear anyone say that in a sneaker store uh, or online, a YouTuber, or when you read that, a GR is a general release. I mean, mostly anybody could get it. It'll probably be at the Foot Locker, Champs, Athlete's Foot, whatever store you need to grab it at. Uh, Leo, let everyone order. That's like a first come, first serve. So if it's a Leo, then that means basically when you go online, you'll be able to pop in, get the shoe. It's not a draw or a raffle. If you get on first and the shoe is available in your size, it's yours. All right. Next, PE. I don't use this term a lot because I personally don't even own any PEs. I may have talked about PEs. PE is player exclusive. So that's a shoe that, you know, it may be a, a silhouette or something that already came out by a brand, be it Adidas or Reebok or Nike, most notably, right? But that particular shoe has a colorway and maybe some type of other affect or attribute, like maybe a, a logo or some initials or something for a particular player or for a particular school, um, normally like a university. So um, we know for certain, of course, like Michael Jordan does a lot of player exclusives for UNC. We also know there's, you know, big uh, player exclusives for like Oregon, um, University of Michigan, etc. Not a big fan of PEs. I mean, if you are, let us know. Drop a comment down below. Just not personally my thing. I don't get down with that. Ace Heavy Camp, if that's what you like, that's what you like. All right. So, also this week for Sneaker News, I saw some real strange um, <laughs> fighting. I love to show like cool stuff. Uh, we, we showed the, the wrestling before people were boxing, but this week we got professional uh, pillow fighting, right? So they got people in a ring, right? and they got a big heavy pillow, maybe like a down pillow or something, and they just like whacking the shit at each other with it. And I don't know, I find that, I find that pretty funny. Uh, this isn't the first time that I've seen something like this before, but like structured, it is. I watched the slap slap competitions where people get smacked and everything, and, and those like really tickle me too. Like some of the big heavy handed people to be smacking people. But um, the pillow fight thing, I find this interesting. And as I find other interesting stuff, I show it, uh, whether they have on shoes or not. <laughs> uh, also, the Sothis B 
uh, auction, auction house, is offering up the Dynasty Collection. Now, the Dynasty Collection is composed of six of the most exclusive Air Jordan ones you will ever be able to get your hands on. So, it's six Jordans worn during his six uh, championship runs in the NBA, right? That's 91, 92, 93, and was it, 96, 97, and 98. So, in particular in this pack, we have the Infrared Air Jordan 6s, we have the Charcoal Air Jordan 7s, uh, the Playoff Air Jordan 8s, the Bread Air Jordan 11s, the Playoff Air Jordan 12s, and then the Last Shot Air Jordan 14s. Now, what's cool about these shoes is the fact that they are all signed by Mike, and they were all actually worn by Mike. So you can buy this from the auction house now uh, exclusively at the, for, for as a, like a private individual, right? So they are accepting bids and you have to buy it as a full set. Other than that, they're putting it on display, kind of like a museum. Uh, and so it's currently in display, on display in Dubai and next is going to be in Hong Kong, I believe April 1st through 5th. Uh, so, I mean, that's cool. Um, if I was over in uh, in Hong Kong, in China or something like that, I would definitely check this out. That was cool. Just looking at the pictures are cool. My favorites out of them would probably be uh, the 1991 Chicago Bulls uh, versus Los Angeles Lakers. That's the infrareds. Uh, and then the second one would probably be those 1998 Chicago Bulls versus Utah Jazz last shot Air Jordan 14s. I mean, imagine having the shoes that he wore. You know, when he was out there busting John Stockton and, and then the mess. I mean, that's, that's uh, man, that's unbelievable. So, also with sneaker news for this week, Dennis, Do Dennis Rodman did come out and make a statement about the backwards swoosh, letting everybody know that Travis Scott is not the first one with it. Can you believe it? Dennis Rodman said he was the first one with the backwards swoosh. Mm, who knew? Uh, but he's not lying because, you know, his shoes back in the day, the Worms, Nikes, uh, which was kind of like a, a high top or whatever. Look like a football shoe to me personally, like a lot of shoes do, and you see me say that often. Um, but yeah, he had the backwards Nike swoosh on his. So, you know, I used to be a little tongue in cheek and being funny, but at the same time, no, he is right. He was the first one with it. So, salute to that brother, because uh, he did the backwards swoosh first. Uh, but I do got to argue that Travi did it better, you know, because I don't own any worms. I don't own any uh, Dennis Rodman shoes right now. Last but not least, which I thought was really, really cool for this week. I recently was able to, I was blessed to celebrate my 42nd birthday, y'all. That's right, your boy's 42 years old. I know I might not look it, but black don't crack. Um, and Puerto Rican be freaking. The fellas, they came through Jeff and A-Man Top 3 Kicks, y'all already know. And uh, they blessed your boy with, with, with two very nice gifts. One was the Freddy Krueger uh, Air Maxes. Right, and then they also hit your boy with um, some uh, chrome heart socks. So the Freddy Krueger Air Maxes, I've never even seen them in hand. In fact, wait one minute. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so the Freddy Krueger Air Maxes, man, look at these. These are super dope, super dope. Let me show y'all in the B-roll. So I know this isn't the sneaker pickup section, but you know, it's the fellas. So you know you gotta take the time to uh, acknowledge greatness and I appreciate them, respect to Amen. Here's the here's the socks and Jeff. They hooked your boy up with my favorite uh Chrome Heart socks and the Freddy Krueger Air Max 95s. Nice, you see the blood splatter uh over the chrome, like his nails. Same uh aesthetic in the back, right? The drippy blood. You know, and I'm not necessarily like a horror fan at all, but I do like Freddy Krueger, he's funny. See the stitching and then the colorway is just like his uh his sweater. So that's cool. And then the Nike swoosh on the inside is like bleeding. I don't know if you can see that. Dope shoe. Very dope shoe. So yeah, I was blessed to get both of these for my birthday. So man, respect for y'all, man. To y'all. Uh, this was a very humbling uh, moment. I was very appreciative. I'm appreciative to everybody who called and text. Uh, it's a blessing to be alive and to see another birthday. As it should be for anybody to feel that way to be on earth. So anyway, back to the kicks. That being said, that's all we got for Sneaker News for this week.
What is this, y'all? Man, I didn't have to do nothing other than come out today. I appreciate oh, it. What? Oh, are these a Freddy Krueger Air Max, bro? What? Bro. Bro. With the chrome joints. Look at this. Thank you, bro. Thank y'all, man. Hey, look. Look, Ace Handy Camp. Y'all see how my brothers do me. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing but love. And, you know what I'm saying? I owe them all this and the some, man. So, I appreciate y'all, man. Love. Y'all stay tuned, man. We growing, man. We showing. Peace. Elevate. Ace Heavy Camp, the word of the week this week is purloin. That's right, purloin. Typically used as a verb. It means to try to finesse something, to steal, to pilfer. We all know what those things are about and the type of you know demon time or spirit that that brings. People trying to uh, finesse or steal something from somebody else. There's a lot of finesses out there. Um, I can't say salute to y'all, but you know people get down how they get down. I try to stay away from people. I don't like thieves and I don't like liars. So if you like the purloin, you know what I'm saying? Uh, stay away from me. <laughs> Real talk. Do you purloin? I don't. Sneakers for retail. All right, y'all. So for sneakers for retail this week, I want to keep it real breezy. Just want to talk about one shoe. And that is the Vans Old School Lightning Bolts. They're only 75 bucks, like 75, 80 bucks. Most places, 75 bucks. And you can go just about anywhere and get them. Vans in the wave right now. We see the young kids rocking Vans. We see old people. So it's not just a skater brand like how we used to look at them at Airwalks, etc. And, you know, with the wave now, the Nike SB. It's not just for skaters. You see people actually out here rocking them. It's not a fringe shoe. It's a fly shoe. Um, is it something I would rock? I don't know. Is it something that you would rock? Leave a comment down below and let us know. But regardless, for 75, 80 bucks, you can go to Dick's. You can go to Journeys. You can go to um, anywhere. I think they got them at Champs, too. You can go grab your pair of Vans. And you can keep flipping the colorways. I think they got four different colorways right now. If I was going to rock one, I'd probably do the black and white or maybe the, the uh, white and red. What colorway would you rock? I don't know. That's what we got this week for Sneakers for Retail. So for upcoming sneaker releases this week, I want to talk about two different things. The first thing I want to talk about is the Avia 880s, okay? Very similar to Virgil Abloh's Louis Vuitton Trainer Sneaker Boot. These shoes actually inspired that shoe by Virgil and was released in the 80s. We saw a lot of people rocking them back in the day, most notably probably Robert Parrish, uh, but also Scotty Pittman before he had his Nike contract. So what they're doing is they're re-releasing these shoes. Uh, they're coming out in the very near future, supposedly by the end of the month, March 31st. Uh, will I be buying a pair? I don't know because like they cut so high. I mean, again, like the Louis Vuitton esque, the Louis Vuitton version of this of that that Via esque shoe actually is called a sneaker boot. It's not even called a shoe, a high top shoe. So you already know if they're calling it a sneaker boot, you know it's got the look of and it's probably the heaviness of a boot. I'm cool on that. I like very low profile shoes. I like light shoes. So that won't work for me. Um, also. This week, we have the Adidas and Gucci second run of their collaboration together. So, you know, the Adidas and Gucci have been putting out uh, not just shoes, but, you know, sandals, hats, uh, track jackets, shirts, etc. All different types of stuff. They even have some bags for ladies, right? And so, I, I've been digging their line. I think that, you know, when certain brands do collabs, it kind of waters down the more um, uh, renowned of the two. You know, in the collaboration. So that being said, like it's not, it's Gucci, but it ain't quite Gucci because it's Gucci Adidas. Now it's Adidas, it's cooler Adidas. You know what I mean? It, it elevates Adidas, but it lessens Gucci. If that makes any sense. So, but I do like the Gazelles. I like the ones that released last year for the collab between Adidas and Gucci, and I definitely like these. Is this a shoe or a collaboration that you feel is hot and you'll be checking for? Leave us a comment down below and let us know. 
I would probably grab those gazelles if I didn't have to spend a lot of bread. If they were very expensive, then you know that's a that's a no go for me. So let us know if that's something that you would grab. That being said, that's all we got for upcoming sneaker releases. Sneaker pickups. Two of the hottest shoes to release in 2023. And we got them for y'all. One is an early pickup, uh, an early review. And the other one is something I was actually able to grab for retail. You know, which is crazy because as y'all know already, your boy AC Young Heavy, I never hit. I never hit. Never hit. On none of them shits. On the raffles, on the, the draws, Leo, first come, first serve. Your boy never gets the shoes that he really wants. I normally have to go to a boutique or online or through some other means, friend, or if we get it in at the shop on top three to grab the shoes that I want and I'll probably end up paying the premium. But this time, I was super lucky and I didn't have to do it. All right, so let's get to it. And let me show you these two hot pickups for this week. So the first one, if you didn't know what it was, it's an early review of the Air Jordan 4 S. All right, let's open this up so you can see what's going on. So this is the Air Jordan 4 SB. All right, take a look at that. See the SB in the back with the Nike traditional. There we go. And it is OG, considered OG when it's Nike Air in the back. If it's the Jumpman in the back, it's considered Jumpman. So it's a non-OG shoe. By OG, we mean original, okay? Or retro. So anyway, I really, really like this. Let me show you the B-roll as well. Nice shoe, very crispy, very crispy. Love it. I love the suede, the brush suede around the toe. Right, the green is hidden. It's a very deep green. And inside, you can see it says, uh -uh, or maybe you can't. Nike SB with a red insole. Love these shoes. These are dope. Yeah, so I think this is a highly rockable shoe. I think it's something that you should put up for the summertime. I don't think I will be wearing them right now. And it's March, it's the end of March. It's a lot of rain, sleet, snow, and hail in Chicago. Uh, H-A-I-L and H-E-L-L. -L. So I probably will not be wearing these shoes right now. In fact, I'm not going to wear them. I may rock them tomorrow once or twice. But, um, they're going to be on ice until probably the summertime. I cannot say where I got this particular shoe at because I got it early. And um, it's from a retail location. And so if you know, you know. If you don't, then don't worry about it. And um, I mean, if I could share, I would. But these are the homies. Shout out to them. Y'all the real MVPs. I know they're watching the video. So I appreciate y'all. And I kept my word. And I didn't say where I got them from or when I got them. But I can say that I got them early. And uh, I paid a little premium for them. I paid for 25 So I thought that that was worth it. I would do it again. I wanted these shoes. And I didn't want to have to um, be looking for them. So uh, I got them. So anyway, is this a shoe that you would pick up? Leave us a comment down below and let me know. All right, so second, second. Next pickup is Air Jordan 3 Real Madness. That's right. So y'all knew it was coming. It had to happen sometime. Uh, I try to do most of the major pickups for review. Um, if it's a shoe that I'm going to keep or at least can see myself rocking. I don't bash shoes um, if I'm not going to rock them at some point and I don't get other people's shoes to put on the show or get long shoes and I no disrespect to nobody else but I don't do that. You know what I'm saying? If you see it, it's mad. Right? But if you see it, that don't mean that I keep it. Most of the time, a lot of, a lot of the time, unless it's something real nice, real funky, it's going to go anyway. But, oh man, these will be staying. Air Jordan 3 Real Magic. Look like, give it to you a little bit in the camera, give you a little funk. Right? So this shoe to me looks like a shoe that somebody sold to a pawn shop 
because they was a little short on the rent and they need or they needed a, and they needed a little milk and a little egg. And so they sold it and it's been sitting in the window for years. And that's why it's got that yellowing on it. I wish they would have did a little more with the aging effect. Maybe they could have cracked the uh, the uh, the leather. Um, on the toe somewhere or the quarters or something, you know, but anyway, the, the uh, off-white on the uh, midsole is a nice touch and the bottom pretty much is uh, as the original Air Jordan 3 uh, cement was. Um, it, it's a little little yellower, not as pronounced as the midsole on the outsole. Let me show you guys the B-roll. So the box is in the way, but you can see that. The box is one of the dopest parts though. If you look at that top, it looks like it's old. Right, like it's been sitting in the closet or whatever. Right, in the shoe, oh man, talk about wearable. And I left the tag on there because I just like how the tag look and had it hang on there. Uh, I do need to get maybe one of those chains instead of the plastic to put on there because I feel like I will lose uh, this um, just because uh, the plastic will break, right? And then I'll lose the tag. But man, these nice shoes, size 11 and a half, right? So. I like them. If this is a shoe that you would grab, leave us a comment down below and let me know. But I definitely have no regrets uh, on this particular pickup whatsoever. Very dope shoe. Very spicy. All right. So, um, and it comes with some other stuff too, like this little booklet. It's like the original um, from back in the day. It's got a diagram of the shoe, right? Nothing on the back. But I think that's a nice touch. Anytime they do like a little extra with it um, to make us really value that purchase, uh, I'm extra appreciative. So thank you, Nike. Salute to y'all for doing this one. Do y'all want to keep uh, seeing these uh, uh, reimagined or lost and found versions of shoes? Uh, I don't know. Leave a comment down below uh, and let me know. But, you know, I mm, if it's done right, like I said, those Air Jordan 4 reimagines, when them drop, I'm down with those. I'm definitely grabbing those. Um... I can't think of another silhouette, you know what I mean? Like, maybe if they did that, but on an Air Jordan 1, like an OG colorway or something, you know, something that maybe looked like a Nigel Sylvester or something on, uh, you know, the, the white and red colorway of the, of the mics, the Air Jordan 1 has. Maybe, you know, but I don't know. Uh, maybe on some lows, Air Jordan 1 lows. But there's not a lot of silhouettes that they reimagine going to look good on, and you don't want to play out the idea, right? So, two dope pickups for this week. Really excited. Super humble and appreciative. I got these from Athlete's Foot, um, and I was able to pick those up for retail price on the day. Again, I just had to grab a pair of uh, Reebok pumps. And the, uh, the, uh, the Air Jordan 4 SB, uh, I was able to get those a little before uh, release date, maybe about a week before. So I was excited about that. Appreciate y'all for rocking with me. That's what we got this week for Dope Pickups. Kicks. Y'all already know it's the birthday celebration and we getting it in at Tops and Bottoms, one of my favorite places to be on the west side of Chicago. You feel him? And we grabbing some high kicks. What are we getting?
So for Throwback Thoughts this week, I want to talk about Michael Jordan and his big ass pants. That's right. Mike got them big ass pants on OG. And you know what? It's crazy because Mike, his shoe game, right, is like grilled, goaded, the best that it could possibly be. And everybody wants to be like Mike on the court. They want to have shoes like him. But I don't want his pants though, bro. And why do dude always get the big pants? This is one of the few times it's not really going to be directly linked to shoes in some kind of way. I don't have no shoes that he typically wear with his big pants. He wear cool shoes with him. He wear them boat shoes. He wear all kinds of shoes with the big ass pants. I don't know why he would do that. He might have body issues. Maybe he think his his legs too big or too little nowadays. So I don't really know. Maybe, maybe it's something that we, we don't need to know. Maybe he has robot legs now. So he has to wear big ass pants or something. I don't know. Gee, have you ever wondered why Michael Jordan, to this day, you dressed lose. in 1992, um, feels good, Tony, Tony, Tony pants and stuff? If you do have any idea, please leave a comment down below because I don't know. Peace. So for dope toys this week, I got two toys. Not just one, but two I want to show y'all. First is the Star Trek Classics, uh, Classic Face. Right? And I think it's the button, it still works. The sound effects is... It's pretty cool. This is what Captain Kirk and them, back in the day on Star Trek, the original series, or TOS, as uh, nerds call it. Uh, stop making noise, I'm trying to do the, uh, the video, bro. Anyway, <laughs> classic Star Trek, uh, classic phaser. Kirk used to use a spot, you know what I mean? Uh, and and, and uh, the rest of the crew back in the day. I like this. I like the show, obviously. My favorite of all the Star Treks would probably be uh, The Next Generation and then uh, Voyager. Although, you know, Scott Bakula's series is, is very dope as well. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Scott Bakula. He's the man. The Quantum Leap Man. All right? So that's one. It looked good in the baby shoot around. Um, I'm not a bit big in the guns or anything like that, but at the same time, you know, I thought this was dope. And then, so a second toy for this week, classic Star Trek, uh, is the ship from the original series. Right. Take a look at that. Right, it makes actual lights and sounds. So these are 2022 releases. I'm glad it didn't just keep going the whole time, right? But these, both of these came out in 2022. Uh, I couldn't show y'all the new world, but this is a box of videos. Released in 2022, so you could actually have a replica. Uh, I don't know what scale this particular replica is. Uh, it's not listed right away on the box. But yeah, you could have a scale of the, the Star Trek original series, Enterprise. Star Trek Enterprise, pretty cool. And then I uh, also showed you guys the phaser. Right. Pretty cool, and like I said, it's got a uh, audio. You press the buttons and stuff. So this this is pretty cool. I, I like this. I like that. So I was excited about grabbing this. Um, what I plan on doing with it, <laughs> what I plan on doing with it is actually putting it on my coffee table in the living room. Because some people put like flowers and things like that in the center of their table. I want to put. The Star Trek shit, you know, uh, because I'm a big kid and I'm not going to grow up, even though there isn't a Toys R Us anymore. Is this something that you will buy? Let us know down below. Or let us know if uh, you still play with toys or if you don't, do you wish you could? All right. With that being said, that's what we got this week for Dope Toys. Beam me up, Scotty. <laughs>
that was never officially released. However, this Air Jordan 1 Reverse Shattered Backboard, as it's referred to, um, is worth $147,000, okay? That's 900 times the retail price. 900 times the retail price. That's crazy, all right? But, you know, I don't have to bag, and you don't have to either. You probably won't be able to because it's only one of them, and it only happened one time. I don't know who currently owns that shoe. Uh, I believe it was sold in either 2018 or 2019 um, by Auction House, but it is a wonderful kind of shoe, and that shoe was actually sent to the buyer from Nike.com. So they purchased the shoe, the factory made a mistake, put the swoosh on upside down, sent it to this young man, and uh, or young lady, I'm not sure. I believe it was a young man, though. And, uh, you know, he held on to the shoe, and you know, sometimes errors, just like with the Air Jordan 3 reimagines and the factory errors and, and issues like they make a shoe, you know, worthless or worth less, right? But this particular instance, it elevated the price of the shoe. So what do y'all think about that? Is that a shoe that if you could acquire, if they had more than one, would you buy it? If they actually did that on an actual official release, would you cop that shoe? Leave a comment down below and let us know. Uh, I probably would. That would be dope. They have some Shadow Backboard 1.0 reverse. They say don't dope to me. Look dope to me. Um, I like that colorway. It's not as wearable in that orange. You know what I'm saying? I don't wear a lot of orange and stuff, but hey, you know, I, I found something to rock with it. You know what I'm saying? But that being said, that's what we have this week for Real Shoes. Well, that's what we got for you this week for episode 39. Please, man, if you love me, if you like me, if you still don't want to fight me, <laughs> go ahead uh, and click, man. Facebook, eBay, Instagram, all that. Connect with us, tap in, all right? We appreciate y'all. We appreciate the love. The Ace Heavy Camp is growing by leaps and bounds exponentially, man. That couldn't happen without y'all, all right? So my final thoughts, a final word for this week is uh, be yourself. Be authentic, and in doing that, you will be flat. All right? Self-explanatory. Don't try to do too much. You know, but if you do you, it'll be seen in everybody's view. All right? And you'll be perceived the way that you want to be perceived. Even if you're not, stand on it. Ten toes down and be the person that you believe that you are inside and the person that God made you to be. With that being said, make sure you do something good for somebody this week because when one win, we all win, baby. And most importantly, if you can't see it, before you see it, you will never see it. Peace. Elevate. What well, up? Uh, it's GLC rotating through these windy city streets. You know what I'm talking about? Rotating in this young Chevy. But my two player partner by the name of Ace the Young Heavy. I ain't doing nothing but delivering this isn't that you gotta like. Cause we teach you how to go ahead and let that paper reach them satellites. Yeah, 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 yeah. Paper, paper, game, game. Watching paper reaching satellites Can't rub for my chips I'm so fly and I'm so high I walk on clouds and Louis kicks While I'm up here trying to see if there's a heaven for a pimp Willis Tower racks My chain 60k I see money every second You a vitamin One a day Runaway Summer day Shining on your bitch She a star on your team But for me she off the bench Flying in an eagle And my paper reaching satellites It's pimping like a time machine One night with me to change your life Put a price on the Tell them again Number one That's right That's right That's right Bitch I'm flat Check my altitude